Hey, welcome back to Dysfunctional Channel. I'm your host, Jesus Figueroa, at Dysfunctional of Dysfunctional.com. And today I'm going to get to chat with French filmmaker Ilana Navarro, whose current documentary feature film, Josephine Baker, The Story of an, Aw of an Awakening, illuminates the life of the iconic artist and human rights activist Josephine Baker, who is known as the first global black superstar. Josephine Baker, The Story of an Awakening, is going to be exclusively streaming on Cinema Network starting on October 29, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Check out the interview. Okay. I, I was so thrilled to watch this. It's definitely a film that is needed in this time. Well, How are you so introduced to, to her that. story? How are you Sorry. introduced How to was her I story? Introduced? Well, actually, uh, you know, uh, Josephine Baker had a, a sort of a, a pretty oversimplified image here in France. And so, um, so uh, when the producer, my producer talked to me about eventually making a film on her, I had ambivalent feelings, to be honest. And uh, when I was seduced to, 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 to work on it was when I started reading her uh, memoirs, her first memoirs when she, when she came to France. And they were so fresh and so um, full of insight on um, the way she perceived, the way French society perceived her. I was completely convinced that there was a story to tell, to take all, away all the dust on her image. Definitely. Um uh, reading a little bit about her, she has so much to her story. How do you, how do you find a focus for this? Because she did so much during her lifetime. <laughs> um, well, this, the, how to say it? When you start telling the way she was perceived and, and with, that, with that angle and the way she perceived the way she was perceived, mm -hmm. it gives a whole line conducting line how to say of the of her story it gives sense to all her life it what doesn't make sense starts to make sense because you realize that um she uh, learned how to how to um take on herself the role of being the first black star of the world superstar of the world and that is um that is a major m major place from which to look at the world uh, uh, around her and the, the 20th century really, because she, she, she went through, uh, you know, the second world war, she went through uh, the McCarthy laws um, in the United States. She went through, um, she went through a lot of different, different, different parts of, uh, you know, the, 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 you can really tell the whole of the 20th century from the point of view of the first black superstar. In fact, that's what comes out of it. And the beginning is just that those memoirs of someone who is just arriving to Paris and mm -hmm. um, who is amazed by all of the attention she's getting. Definitely. And she, she, her, throughout her entire life, she goes through so many obstacles and, and just perseveres through it. Um, how much, I guess, how much do you take personally from it and, into like the way you you see life the way you keep on going with your career and and just inspired by it i know it's it's pretty amazing i kept thinking about her when i was making the film even at the most hardest moments and i thought of the way she would take things and the way she would see things well you know she would be thinking probably like well look you have a lot of difficulties but here you are at this particular moment and it's for a reason and what's that reason and then she would go like that, I think. Mm -hmm. um, she would find her focus in that way. She was trying, it's, it's a sort of a, a very pragmatic way of looking at things with, um, with, with a perspective. I'm not saying that she was conscious um, or politically conscious in any way when she started, but she certainly had this, um, this sort of a, a spiritual being, I think, when she, she sort of knew that she was there for a reason, even, even if she didn't know why, mm -hmm. um, and that she lived every moment of it. Definitely. And 
uh, what what kind of response have you had to this film? Because, like I said, it's something that is definitely needed at this time, and I, I think a lot of people are are finally getting to know who Josephine Baker was through this film. Yes, uh, it's true that I've got a lot of um, people who told me that they never knew that that was that's who she was. That they sort of even when sometimes I tell people that I made a film about Josephine, people some people would still be about why? I mean, why on Josephine Baker? I mean. She was such a, um, a sort of vulgar image of a, a sort of a shallow artist, you know, who uh, didn't hesitate to dance with a banana skirt and all that. Um, well, I don't think they would have, they would stay, still say that when they, they would see the film. So um, I think that, uh, you know, I, I, I was, I would really made it a pleasure to play on um, the going back and forth between um, the way f the white society saw her and the place they gave her and the way she saw them and that the place that they gave her. And that was my most, the best kick I had <laughs> telling the story. Definitely. And um, I, I think when it comes to change and, and anything that is different, we always feel uncomfortable at the beginning. And as a society, I, I, I think acceptance is one of the hardest things and I think this film really shows acceptance and how not only she accepted the world around her but she started accepting herself and empowering herself um what was this always like what what you felt the message should be for the film well the message constructed itself um you know as as far and um, uh, you know as the film went along really um mm -hmm. I had a how to say um, it was, a, I, 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 it, it sort of, sort of, it started to become meaningful the way she changed her personal destiny into something more of, a, of a collective struggle. Um, that was, uh, the articulation of that was most essential, how to say, um, you know, how, how she used her image to, uh, to make it to make something that's not just for her, but for everyone, um, and that was a whole life that of maturation. I mean, you can sort of see the way she used she she grew up herself uh, through her own image. Um, now that you know more about her story, um, how has it impacted the way you're continuing on with life and the way you are <laughs> are going to power through whatever it is that is coming up for you next? It's a, it's an interesting it's it's, it's an interesting question. Um, <laughs> yes, I actually uh, it's true that I, I I also take a lot of the human lesson that she she takes from uh, she gives and uh, and to make to make things that are you know that, that to take every moment and even if as strange as it comes to take it the way it is and to uh, you know sort of move from there. I don't know how to say it. She has a very particular force and uh, you know, it's a, she, she's a real, a real role model for everyone. Um, and, uh, and the f movie without me wanting to make it that way turned out to be a feel good movie as they say, <laughs> you know, the sort of movie you want to watch because you just want to, you know, have uh, some sort of uh, optimistic evening instead of watching all this horrible news around us. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can totally see that. Um, what's up next for you? What's up next for me? Well, we'll talk about that when I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, well, thank you very much for your time. Thank um, you. This film sure. changed my view on, on her. I, I know I, I read a couple of things on her and had an image of what she was. And this changed it somewhat. Thank you very much for this film. Thank you. That's great. Thank you very much. World-renowned performer, World War II spy, and activist are a few of the titles used to describe Josephine Baker, one of the most successful African-American performers in French history. Viewers of the film will witness how Baker went from being a poor little black girl from Mississippi to becoming the Queen of Paris, before joining the French Resistance and finally creating her dream family, the Rainbow Tribe, adopting 12 children from the four corners of the world. Cinema Network's curated programming is available on Apple TV and Apple iOS, Sling TV, 
Comcast Xfinity, Verizon Files, Frontier Google Google Play, and Samsung devices.